Hello guys, Asperger's Grove here, and today I'm going to give you a little message to all you people out there who are suffering from anxiety um, or depression or any kind of mental illness. So as opposed to some of the regular videos that I do, this is more of a freestyle video, I haven't made any notes on what I'm going to say or anything. Um, but I've, I've generally just been thinking a bit today about while, while I was looking at the research topics that I was going to do for the next year and stuff, um, I was thinking about what really was important for me and a lot of the stuff that I wanted to do was to do with mental health and to do with improving mental health particularly in people who have autism or any kind of that kind of thing that's, that's had links towards mental health and I just wanted to give a message for everybody out there who is my subscriber, definitely if my subscriber, or if you just come across this video on YouTube looking for some kind of support. I know that during my last year when I was going through a quite a, um, intense depressive phase, um, all I really wanted was this kind of video um, where someone would you know, sit down, talk about how, they've, how they felt about it so that I could maybe kind of get some kind of rapport going with them. I know it's it's hard to do this stuff via like virtual things because you can't you can't talk to everybody about stuff, which is a, a sad truth. And I just wanted to get as up close and personal as I could. Hence why I'm on the sofa and I'm just at home. So um, if you didn't know, um, I was diagnosed with Asperger's, which is a um, high functioning type of autism which basically means that generally people with Asperger's are on the autistic spectrum which is kind of a wide range of different um, neurodevelopmental disorders. Disorders. I like to use this a lot because obviously I like to use the scientific terms but I don't agree with a lot of them. Um, and that basically is a lot to do with social interaction, a lot of how our brain works, we work more logically, stuff like that. Um, I was also diagnosed with depression and anxiety in my early teens, um, particularly to stuff to do with being anxious so much that uh, you get something called depersonalization, which is where you detach all all of your, your ego kind of d dissipates a little bit and you don't really feel like um, a person. It's a weird experience to have. And also derealization, de which is where you feel like you're not really attached to your present so much, you're thinking in the future too much, and therefore you don't feel like you're living your life and you feel like you're in a bit of a dream world. And that's the kind of place that I was in for a large percentage of the life that I can remember. Obviously, I do have more of life in the childhood, um, but I, it's pretty hard to remember that stuff. So yeah, it's been a significant part of my life. It still is. Uh, being depressed, being anxious, still is a significant part of my life. And I understand a lot of it. The, the highs, the lows, the, just the stable amount of mental, low mental health quality. Um, and then obviously the high peaks that can lead people to doing you know, stupid stuff, which I shouldn't really call it stupid because um, in the mind of a depressed person, you know, it can be very real. And that's the, the kind of topic of the video that I wanted to touch on. I went through a lot of my childhood thinking that I was, I was generally quite normal. Um, Whenever anyone would, whenever I talk about my mental health, I would always, <coughs> excuse me, I would always compare myself to other people um, and how other people are doing in life, um, particularly to people who don't have mental health issues. Uh, there were some some other people in my school who had depression, anxiety, stuff like that, but definitely they weren't on the level that I was. And the struggle that I had was when I was trying to compare myself to other people and particularly when I was trying to explain my situation and how much my mental health affected me to parents, friends, you know, people who I was in relationships with and also to like psychiatrists and stuff. 
and for a lot of the time, even now, I still feel quite, quite alienated from the rest of society because of how different my brain structure is and how, how much of a, how, what the different struggles that I have compared to other people. A lot of people's struggles can be personalized for them. They can have a really good life and their struggles could be uh, they're not getting enough money and they want to get more um, objects and stuff. They want to get more possessions. They want to get girls. They want to boost their ego. They want to look good. They want to get a good job. And their stress may come from those kind of things. But when you have a mental health condition, your life is very different. Um, and you probably know that if you have a mental health condition. And if you talk to people, particularly who don't have any experience with this kind of thing, they will talk about, you know, you overreacting, which is a horrible thing to say to someone who's got mental health problems. You're overreacting, you need to sort yourself out, there's bigger things to worry about, there's getting your money in, all that kind of stuff, getting your job, getting your education, you know, getting a good social life, that's, and obviously that is a good thing, but what I'm trying to highlight is that your reality and the things that you have in life is completely based on yourself. It's completely based on your perception of things. If you think the world is a horrible place where everybody does stuff for themselves, everybody's selfish, bad things happen, sometimes good things happen, then that's how you're gonna that's that's how the world is. Because that's the only the only world that matters to you. And you're yourself, you're not anybody else, are you? So it is important. And you should never dismiss your own your own view of the world just because just because other people say that it's wrong. So although, although these views of the world may be harmful, you may think all these bad things about people, it doesn't make it any less significant just because a significant amount of the population doesn't think in that in that way. The only the only reason why it will be significant is that if your mental health is significantly affected by it. What I mean by significantly affected is you, you don't enjoy life, um, you have a very low quality of life, so that can be things like having too much anxiety that you can't do stuff that you want to do, um, personal experiences with anxiety stopped me from doing my sport that I loved and I was doing really good at, held me back in a lot of relationships, a lot of friendships, um, Particularly in making friends when I was when I was very young, and then you've obviously got your depression, which is causing all the not causing but being a res, resulting in self harm, hurting yourself, um, suicide, which is quite a big one, and all sorts of all sorts of other stuff like negative beliefs about people in the world and yourself. If you think that things are really bad, if you think the world is ending, that's as significant, that is like as important as anybody else's view. And if you're thinking that, and people are telling you it's not, and you, should, you shouldn't think that way, and you still do, and you've, you've been thinking that for ages and ages and ages, it's affecting your mental health, it's making you hate life, then you need to make sure that other people understand that and that other people take it seriously. Because although it would be great if it was like this, but people do not do not understand just because of the diagnosis that you have. Or they, you know, they, they don't understand the severity, they don't understand the different things that you've experienced, the different psychological things that you've you've built up as you've as you've lived your life. Um, and it's very difficult, it's very difficult to communicate that and I still can't accurately communicate how bad things are. The only way that you can do it is obviously how they physically view you, which is obviously why some people self-harm, because they want people to understand. Um, and then obviously there's social communication, and trying to get reference points and communicate with other people to let them know through their own experiences, how you might feel. It's a difficult thing to do, especially if you've got autism.
Uh, but if you try your very best, it can help a lot. So don't ignore the fact that you want to kill yourself all the time. It's a horrible thing. It's really not good. Like, I know there's a lot of memes on Facebook about, you know, de depression. Oh, I'm just going to kill myself. Like, it's not good at all. And I know if you have any kind of suicidal ideation, as soon as something bad happens in your life, thinking about suicide, you need to get it sorted out. You just do. You need, I don't care what you do. Have panic attacks in public or... It's probably not a good idea. Don't, don't follow that advice. Get on at people. Get, get annoyed at people for not taking you seriously. Go to as many people as you can trying to sort what you have out. Sorry about that. I'm right next to a road near my house, so it's a bit busy. <sighs> I forgot what I was talking about now. Yes, so make sure you get it across to people. I know what it's like. It's like everybody's living in some kind of... feels like everybody else is living in some kind of dream world. <laughs> I know what it's like. You feel like everyone's going in some kind of dream world where everything's blissful and, you know, you just, it's just... It feels like they're just faking it, but they're not. They're not faking it. And in their eyes... You're, you're just thinking of the, the negatives all the time. And the thing is, is that you're kind of living in this lens where the world is black, like completely just dark. Everything is dark, everything is bad. And then there are some things which are light and you gravitate towards those good things. And those good things can be harmful. So they could be drugs, stuff like that. And those good things can be good. So they can be people, and people that make you feel good. And that's the way that you view your life and I'm not saying that it's a bad way of viewing it unless it's affecting your mental health therefore if you were wanting to get a more positive positive view of life you'd want to experience everything in shades of grey so you'd want things to be oh that's a bit, bit dark I'm going to avoid that oh it's a bit light I might just wander over there I hope you're getting these analogies. I'm trying my very best. Or, you know, maybe, because maybe living life where everything's wonderful and then some things are just really bad and you avoid them and everything's light and you gravitate towards everything, new experiences, new new emotions, and you're just going for it and you're, you're not thinking about it too much because everything's so great. And it's just not, it's not viable for most people who have mental illness. You've lived your whole life thinking a certain way. It's incredibly, incredibly hard to change your view that much. It's possible, but not in the short term. Definitely in the long term, and it's definitely a constant thing that you have to work at. But do you want to be like that? It's it's up to you. See, this is the reason why I usually make usually make scripts for stuff. I hope that any of this stuff is kind of sinking in and you, you, you're empathising with it a little bit. I'm trying my best to talk about something freestyle. It's not something that I usually do. But the, mo the moral, I, I really want to... No. Damn it. Mental health. Hard, difficult thing. One of the worst things on the planet. And it's growing. And we need to do stuff to sort it out. I feel like I need to make these videos because although we do have a lot of other people making this, there's not enough focus on fixing these key issues. There's not enough community work in order to try and make people feel better. There is a large significant amount of people who have it, but because there's a high percentage of people who don't, there's a high percentage of people who don't care about it. And a lot of people who have mental illnesses try and help other people I can't say that I would be doing these videos if I didn't experience the things myself and you know we, we need people to to realize and we need people to watch these videos with mental illness mental illness or not and we need them to understand to some degree so that they'll be more inspired to help out and more inspired to 
solve this massive problem that this society has. I really hope, really, really hope this video has been somewhat helpful. I felt like for myself, I wanted to talk about it and I felt like it was, I haven't really done any of these sit, sit down videos where I can talk heart to heart about topics that I'm very passionate about and topics that I think are going to help people a lot. And I wouldn't be doing this video if I didn't, if I didn't think that myself. So just remember, your reality is as important, as important as everybody else's. Number two, you need to help people. Help people understand. Do whatever you can. You know, help people understand in terms of your world, in terms of helping you out and making your life better. And also helping other people and getting a general awareness about things. And number three, never try to compare yourself to people who don't have mental illness. Your life is a lot different to theirs. Your problems are a lot different to theirs. And therefore, it would be it would be dis disadvantageous dis disadvantageous to yourself to compare yourself to other people like like that. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked it. And if you did like it, make sure to click the subscribe button and the little notification bell uh, next to it so that you get notifications when my next videos come out. I'm hopefully going to put up another vlog video of my trip to Thailand, um, still in Thailand, and I've not put enough up yet, but it's gonna come soon, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> yeah, remember to like the video if you liked it, or leave a mean comment if you're a troll. I know you are. Don't you leave that comment. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope the sun is shining for you today and always. That's cheesy. See you later guys. Peace, peace.